and welcome back to Paul Corns on Construction. As you can see, the, uh, the look and feel and sound of my uh, current environment is a little different to the usual one. I'm currently on an international project. Uh, and uh, today's interview is with Vicky Marnie, who works for uh, acoustic specialist supplier Muffle. Uh, so it's quite uh, pertinent to the fact that this room is almost like an echo chamber. Uh, so let's see what Vicky has to say about that. So Vicky, um, thanks for agreeing to be interviewed on the channel on the subject of acoustics. You're welcome. Uh, but before we start that, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background, perhaps how you got into acoustics? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, well, I mean, I work for, for Muffle as a sales manager now, um, but I got into construction about, oh, 15 years ago, something like that, purely on the kind of basis of I had a love for DIY uh, and there was a job that was advertised selling power tools um, so I kind of jumped on that and got into construction selling power tools um, okay. and then just fell in love with the construction industry and, and fell in love with you know buildings and uh, you know and that kind of that kind of thing um, so did a few kind of like what I'd class as the dirty construction jobs selling tools concrete paving that kind of thing and yeah. um to be fair, from an acoustics point of view, I got approached by somebody who just that I'd, I'd known for for a while. Um, we started talking, he offered me a job in 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 acoustics, and yeah, kind of like the started from there. But never been in acoustics before. Don't you know? I don't have a degree or anything like that. Okay. Just learned along the way. Um, but for me, it was just a case of some of the products that you know you, that, that are in our industry in acoustics are just gorgeous um you know and and it's important you know acoustics are incredibly important and um yeah it's uh it's now become a, a little bit of a passion of mine um so yeah well that touches on my first question actually um how you know in a construction context how significant are acoustics in built assets it, do you know what it is incredibly incredibly important um <laughs> And it's always been important, but more recently with, you know, the whole well-being, um, you know, and people's wellness at heart and all that, it's, it seems to have suddenly become more important, but it has always been important. And when you are in a situation where you can't hear properly, um, it can affect your, it can affect your mental health, it can affect your physical state. So, yeah, having that, that clarity when you're in a, an environment, um, just it just puts a better spin on the world in my opinion so it's it's absolutely important um across all sectors you know so a lot of people talk about you know schools obviously and and and, and obviously our, our kids education should be you know at the front you know kind of but there's a lot of classrooms that are still poorly treated and there's a lot of kids we did our own uh, white paper not so long back and surveyed quite a few teachers um, and it's actually available online um, which we can share the link later but something like one in four children um, you know actually are their, their performance is massively affected from you know from their classrooms not being treated correctly right. um, and it, there's a crazy amount of teachers that suffer with stress and you know and actually have to take time off work because the the sound levels in their classrooms are just too un, you know unbearable for them to work so so it is it's it's critical as it is in you know in offices you know we have all these beautiful open plan offices nowadays and unless unless uh, you know that the, the, the the, the company themselves have put private pods and private booths in place. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people feel like they're just being constantly overheard by conversations. And that's just because the acoustics are, you know, are bad. Yeah. And also it, it flexes the productivity. So, you know, if you're sitting down working and you, you're trying to get on and do a, a, a job in hand and then somebody break, you know, the, the noise level is too high and someone breaks your concentration, it can take you about 30 minutes to kind of get that concentration back, you know. So there's a lot of uh, productivity that can be lost from, you know, a poorly treated office, for example. So it, it's absolutely critical. It is. It really is critical. That's great. I mean, I can identify with bad acoustics, particularly uh, before lockdown, sitting in Costa Coffee. Ah. Oh. Uh, 
depending on how full it is, the acoustics in, in generally in their design of interior is terrible. Oh. I believe. Yeah, do you know what? Well, there was a report, and I've, I always throw this one out because it amazes me. There was a, a guy did a survey um, quite a while ago, to be fair, and I think it was in like a TGI Fridays or something like that, one of the big chains. Uh, and he took a sound meter in on a Friday night, um, and the level that the, the restaurant got to was over 110 decibels. Wow. Now, that, in, to put it into context, is, a, is, a, is as loud as a rock concert, you know. That is loud. That level of noise you should only be exposed to for like half an hour a day, you know, without having to, you know, wear kind of ear protectors. So, yeah, I've, I'm the same. I've been in, uh, I, I pick my coffee shops now, to be fair, based on whether they've got decent acoustics or not, because you can't, you can't concentrate. So I get, and to be fair, I'm terrible now. I go, because I'm in acoustics, I walk into places and I'm like, oh my God, like, I can't sit here. This is, this is too, this is too loud. I can't do this. So uh, yeah, no, it's, it's crazy. It's really crazy. The, the sad thing is, I'll be honest though, with hospitality is that the smaller chains, they're really interested because they want to get the repeat business, mm -hmm. you know, so smaller independent restaurants or bars or or coffee shops, you know, we get a lot of restaurants come to us um, for, for help because they want their customers to be happy. They want them to come back, you know, every Friday morning for their, you know, for their morning, you know, chats or whatever it is. Sadly, the larger chains, we I've tried really hard over the years to kind of get into, but they're just not that interested. So we focus a lot on our smaller local, you know, independent um, stores from that point of view. So I'm in a position with acoustics where a little knowledge is dangerous. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um, I, I think I know that sound bouncing around a space is reverberation and trying to prevent or reduce sound passing from one space to another. That's attenuation. Yeah. Thing. Um, what's the difference between those things and how can they be treated? Yeah, absolutely. So there is, there's two quite clear elements when it comes to acoustics. You have your reverberation, as you are correct. It is the noise that bounces around. And I class it as an echo because it's the easiest way for people to understand, basically. So I'm of quite a simple, you know, mind and I like things to be quite simple and not overcomplicated. So yes, you can hear it yourself in your own little room where you are now where that it's quite echoey. Um, and that is because you haven't got any of the soft surfaces to absorb the sound. Right. So yes, 100% correct. Uh, reverberation is where your your direct sound um, bounces um, up, or sorry, your reflective sound bounces to your ceilings and to your walls, and then comes back and hits you in your ear, basically, um, as uh, as an echo. Um, and yes, um, your sound transfer, again, correct, where noise is being transferred from one room one wall to you know through to another room or from your ceilings to floors um yeah which is yeah two everybody gets confused we get a lot of people coming in saying oh i need to uh you know i, I need to you know sound soundproof my my bedroom or whatever it is and actually it's not it's it's a rever you know it's a reverberation issue but the general public will get, do get them both quite confused um at times but okay well thanks for that um, when I first started dealing with acoustics in um, buildings about 20 years ago, um, we were using wall panels and um, rafts, um, but they, they gave a visual appearance often that, that looked like they were retrofitted, particularly mm. wall panels. You know, you get a, a big stripe along a, uh, you know, a large yes. room in a, yeah. a school building or a, you know, a restaurant or something like that. What are architects and, and interior designers doing these days to design in acoustic treatment or get better acoustic performance from their spaces? Yeah, I mean, there are still, you still have your traditional rafts and, and baffles and that kind of stuff, which serve a very, very good purpose. And the ones that you can get now on the market are really nice and they don't look, uh, you know, as, as they used to. Um, but we have a lot... Um, you know the product ranges that we deal with you can do a complete wall cladding you know with with products so it, it doesn't look like it's just been stuck on a wall to do a job you know so you can get moss panels for example you can get wooden panels you know we do a beautiful um product called muffle timber which is a, a complete wall cladding which is just stunning and it doesn't look like yeah a, a random panel that's been that's been stuck on there 
but you can also you know you can you can introduce into your lighting so you know we have products that are predominantly a light light shade light fitting but they have acoustic properties to them and they will help absorb the you know the, the sound same as furniture um you know so we partner obviously that you know what we class as the, the, the you know the kind of the best in the business and people like busy space you know their furniture is tested from an acoustics point of view so they can come into a space and say well actually you put in x y and z you know chair or pod or whatever it is here and that's going to help so um the, the designers and architects are getting much much better um at at not just putting in a whole load of rafts and baffles um you know they want to introduce something that's a little bit more um functional and you know and doesn't look like you say it's just been chucked on the chucked on the wall after as an afterthought sadly we 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 get a lot of retrofitting um inquiries yeah. um we still have the issues that um acoustics are still taken out of packages um you know unfortunately from a cost point of view but 99 percent of the time the client will come back to us eventually and say oh actually shit yeah do you know what we should have actually put those we should have kept those baffles in or we should have kept that in so um yeah yeah not all of us are architects or clients that can make those um, decisions but many of us who work in construction um, face acoustic challenges but not many people really uh, have the knowledge to understand it and how to treat it if if someone um, were to want to acquire a little bit more knowledge on on acoustics is there information and training available uh, easily to to improve yeah there is i mean there's to be honest now days that i mean there's there is so much information that you can find online um we've upgraded our website specifically to have a lot more information on it um so you know we are developing more training kind of style of videos they're very simple you know because obviously we like to keep things nice and simple but it depends on the detail that somebody wants to go into you know so of yeah. course you could go and you know do a diploma you know if, if you wanted to or you know you can register with the institute of acoustics um you know and, and get that kind of level if you want to go into that much detail but from a simplistic form hey you contact us guys and we'll we'll talk we'll talk people through what they need to what they need to know so do i understand correctly then that muffle does um sort of design supply and installation we as as muffle as a standalone business we are we are an e-commerce business so right. we can offer advice on design um we're not designers um although i feel like i have a pretty good eye but no we have uh, we we give um we will give advice on the application um and obviously whether it is a sound transfer issue or um a reverberation issue right. um we partner um or we have a sister company that specializes in the install so we we do also offer installation as well um but well, the idea what's, what's the name of the partner company who do so you... we partner so we have muffle who is the uh our e-commerce store and then hushed acoustics is our supply and install sister company um okay. as well so and we work hand in hand quite well um together so we get we you know we we have a lot of in, obviously we have a lot of people who just buy directly from the website and the beauty of our website is that anybody can go on and just buy a couple of panels if they want to you know there's there's not many people that do that you know a, a lot of manufacturers will want to trade directly with the uh, you know with with the larger companies and construction companies um whereas we want to be able to offer a really simple you know simplistic approach to acoustics and, and offer the best products in the market to everybody um so um so yeah but we do get a lot of inquiries for the larger the larger scale projects now which we can just hand over to our to our guys at hushed and and offer both services which works really well so my boardroom back in the uk the acoustics aren't as bad as this room <laughs> but uh they're not great could i order something from muffle and then self-install it yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So with on within within the website, there's a we have our own self built reverberation uh, calc as well. So you know you can do a simple calculation, just put your room measurements in there, ceiling heights, um, width and length, and it'll give you a average reverb. You have to put in sorry whether you're you've got carpet or wooden floors yep. and a bit more information, but that will give you a, a guide as to what the reverberation time is in your room. And so. 
for example, it might come up that the reverberation time is a second or 1.2 or 1.5. That basically means that it would take one second for the reverberation um, to, to, you know, to, 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 to disappear. So, yeah, so once you've got that knowledge, then you can start to have a look and, and it will suggest, you know, use X amount of product to bring your reverberation down to the more acceptable level. Um, okay. So, yes, the products that we have, all of them can be can be self-installed. Not a problem. Not a problem not at all. Easy to install. Some of them are very, very easy to install. Some of them are super easy to install. The muffled timber, for example, absolutely. That's so okay. easy. We do um we do a wrap panel that's uh, self-adhesive. So you literally just peel the backing off and and put it on your wall. So we've got there's quite a few to be honest. And um certainly from a yeah, from a your kind of style boardroom um, event, you might not want to spend the money or you might not feel the need to, to have an installation team come in. Um, it very much depends on, you know, one, your level of DIY and, um, <laughs> and two, you know, whether there's any other obstacles that you have to come across, like lighting or the ceiling height might be five metres high and you can't get up there and those kind of things. But but we're always on hand to, you know, to offer help and advice and, and all the installation guides are available online um anyway for all the products so there shouldn't well, be any reason why you couldn't install yourself moderately encouraged <laughs> vicky thanks well, for hey, i'm time. gonna diy i'll come and do it for you if you want <laughs> <laughs> be careful what you wish for <laughs> thanks vicky i appreciate you sharing that and um I, if, if i have other acoustic questions i'm definitely going to come back to you and um, and seek your advice and expertise. No Thanks problem. a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. Take care. You too. So I hope you enjoyed that discussion about acoustics with Vicky. If you take a look below, I've included some links to some resources that you might choose to uh, look at if you're interested in getting a little bit more information about acoustics. Despite all the talk, the sound in this room is still no better. Nevertheless, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And um, if you're interested in acoustics or have an opinion on what you heard today, please leave a comment below. Thanks.